Hey everyone, my name is Chrome and you're watching Van City Van Life. Hit that subscribe button and become a part of the Weirdos Unite family. We keep things positive and beautiful around here. We stick up for each other. We're all family, so become a part of it. We upload everyday videos on YouTube. I don't know why I felt like just spitting that out, but I just did. Welcome to today's video. I'm in Moncton, New Brunswick, and I'm actually stoked for today. I had um, someone reach out to me and said, hey, look, we're having a little nomad gathering out here. It's our very first time having one. It's probably going to be small. So Gridless Life and another couple from Coastal Travelers are doing one here. And I'm pumped that I'm in town and I actually scheduled a subscriber meetup at the same time at their gathering. So maybe we'll get to meet some of you. But either way, I'm pumped up. And I hear that the Coastal Travelers couple drove to a bunch of the Walmart parking lots in town here and invited some of the local travelers. So how how cool is that? What a warm welcome to Moncton when someone rolls up to your van and it's like, hey, we're having a little gathering. You guys want to come hang out with us? Super cool, super sweet, and on point with this whole coastal Atlantic vibe. It's just been so beautiful for me. Anyway, on that note, Let's go meet some local nomads. Your, your channel Van City Van Life. Van City Van Life. Yeah. Check it out, like, and subscribe his video, okay? The gathering turned out to be pretty good. I was expecting it to just be a couple of vans and there's probably about, I don't know, half a dozen of them here and some super rad people with some awesome van builds. So I'm thinking maybe we should do some quick two minute van tours with anybody willing to let me shove my camera in their van. Van tour number one, let's go. Hi there, I'm Megan. I'm Steven. And this is our house. <laughs> we've been on the road two years last week and we've been all up the west coast of um, the United States and now we headed east and we did the maritime provinces in Canada and had the most amazing summer. So come on in and have a tour of our van. This is our house, you're inside of it now. It is really straightforward, it's beds on top. It's a queen size bed. Everybody said make, you, make your bed comfortable if you're gonna be living here for a long time. So we did that. Um, we have a, a nature's head composting toilet as well. And I love this, this thing, I couldn't live without it. My wife couldn't live without it. And it doesn't smell. I don't know if you can tell or not, but we've been using that for three weeks and haven't emptied the black tank or the, the compost hole and it doesn't smell. So another thing we love uh, working in here is this guy, it's, it's an instant pot, it's a pressure cooker. Uh, it runs on 700 watts, so it's not really super demanding. It's really efficient. And you cook anything you want to dream about in there. Induction cooktop for the kitchen. Megan wanted electric, she didn't want any propane. So that cost us a lot extra, but it's nice to have and you can boil water real quick with it. For the fridge we used, um, uh, top loading cooler. It's easy to to get to. It's not as, as nice as a as a top load a regular loading fridge, but um, it's efficient and it takes a beating. Got LED lamp bars here that strips that are on a dimmer switch, which are really nice. We never use as much light as people like. We've seen builds with like four or eight puck lights, and the thing we never use that much. We've got them on a separate circuit too, so that we can turn some of them off and some of them on. And down here we've got our bikes. 
Uh, there's a water heater and a shower up back that we never use. It looks really good on Instagram, but it's not <laughs> practical when you're living in it full time. All right, and that's all you really need is a Weirdos Unite sticker, and there's awesome. a two-minute van bill. We're done. <laughs> nice, thanks. <laughs> uh, can they follow you on Instagram or anything? Yeah, Ubu the Van, U B U the Van dot com, or yeah, Ubu the Van on Instagram. All right, time's cool. up. All right, brief interruption. <laughs> Grab some food because we're about to move on to van tour number two. Where's a good pizza? Okay, are you guys ready? Van tour number two. So I'm Mario and she's Jolin and we're Coastal Travelers. We have been living in the van since uh, September of last year. Traveled across North America, did from New Brunswick to Vancouver, then California, and then Arizona and Utah. We went to Florida. Now we're back home, kind of working a little bit before we can head on our next vacation. <laughs> God knows where that's going to be. <laughs> All right, so this is our van. It doesn't quite have a name yet. Um, we've traveled in it since, like I said earlier, since uh, September of last year. It served us really good. One thing we did change, um, when we left the first time, the bed was about up to here, so we couldn't sit up straight in it. So when we got back this April, uh, got married to lower the bed a little bit so we can watch and sit, watch Netflix in it. Um, we do have a um, Dometic fridge. We use it quite a bit. It's been very nice and handy. Um, that's our main source of keeping our food cold, I guess. And uh, we've got our little stovetop oven here. Oh, <laughs> it's pretty dirty. <laughs> keeping it real, keeping it real. <laughs> and we've made sure to put a sink in here and I asked Mario to, the one thing that I really wanted in the van was a nice usable kitchen area so that I could cook for him even though he's very fussy and usually I only make pizza or quinoa. <laughs> typical guy. Yeah, typical guy. Yeah. <laughs> Where can they follow you? Uh, you can follow us on Instagram. We're Coastal Travelers and on Facebook as well. Oh, yeah. And we have our personal Instagrams as well. Mine is Jolin2022 and I'm not sure what Mario's is. He doesn't post that much so there's <laughs> <laughs> not much missing out. <laughs> Woohoo! Of course we got to stamp everybody's van with a sticker. Cruz what are you doing? What are you doing, buddy? You want to tell everybody we're going on to van tour number three now? He is a bundle of excitement. All right, van tour number three. I have a question. Can we do a little two minute van tour of your van? Who's going to be on camera? Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, it's like that one. That one. You want to do it too, though. Yeah, let's do, over, let's do it. Let's do it. I'm Paul Wilcox, my wife is Heather. Uh, this is our new project, uh, it's 1999 GMC Savannah. Uh, we basically started with the van, we gutted the interior, and we just started putting it back together. Uh, this is basically our first trip on the road. Uh, we've got a little kitchen cabinet here, uh, some water storage, and a fuse panel down below, 12 volt pump, <laughs> countertop, Classy little marble top. <laughs> Got to have all the all the benefits of home. And up front between the seats, we kept the uh, factory cooler. Storage-wise, we kept all the uh, original wood grain. Everything in here is storage all the way around the top. I love that. And uh, there's actually lights up inside and lights around the. Oh wow. This gives you that 1970s right? feel all the way around. The only thing I'm missing is the black light and the strobe. <laughs> How cool. 
Where's your Weirdos Unite sticker? Hmm? Hmm? Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. All right, so I gotta go poke my nose in here. <laughs> okay, this, this cooler, it kind of like, it fits a six pack and a place to, if you flick the switch and it keeps your beer cold. Why would they put a six pack holder in the front seat of a vehicle? One, that's probably illegal. Two, I'm probably the only one thinking, let's put a six pack in there. But I know for sure the guys who built this van thought the same thing. Look at those kicks. <laughs> okay, we ready? Ready. Hey guys, my name is Chrome Valdez. I am also Van City Van Life on YouTube and I live in a 2004 Ford E250. Come on over! <laughs> All right, get out. <laughs> you guys have already seen my van, come on. <laughs> Let's go see your van. Hi. <laughs> like they need a van tour of my van. But I'm pretty sure a lot of you would love to see the new cabinets a little bit more up close. So maybe a van tour is probably a good idea, but another day. So first off, we're not going to do a whole lot of fancy music with this one. Let me get on the side of you. Um, <laughs> this is your little gathering. It is my gathering. Yeah. Pretty cool, man. I'm shocked with how many people showed up. I am too. <laughs> like, like no offense, but he's like, oh, it's going to be small. But yeah, man, it was awesome. Some good builds going on here. Yeah. Yeah. So, well, we got so six, seven vans already. <laughs> that's pretty cool. Um, question: Before we start this one, how do they find you on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, or whatever you do? do what do yeah. you do any of that stuff? Oh yeah, yeah. I'm on would you guys would you guys like a business card? <laughs> <laughs> you do one of those. See? All right, guys, here you go. Did you get it? <laughs> Screenshot. Okay. Where? So you can go on Instagram. It's Gridless Life. So just at Gridless Life. And if you want to do it on Facebook, same thing. Oh, Just search Gridless Life, you'll find me. You can also go to the website. The website's uh, www.gridlesslife.com. We got two minutes. So make it good. Good job. <laughs> I'm thinking of something like, what, what do I talk about now? <laughs> so, you want to know a little bit about what I'm doing with Gridless Life? Yeah. Right. Um, well, I, I kind of have to give you the story real quick. So, I had a corporate job, real high paying corporate job, was doing great, had the lifestyle. And then one day I just went and I got fed up. And I quit my job, I sold everything I owned, I gave up my condo, and I moved into this van. And I lived in it for five months and it changed me completely. So now what I do uh, through Grid Gridless Life is I help other people escape the rat race. So I help show them how to basically quit their corporate job and go into the lifestyle that they want to live. So essentially what we're doing right now, right? So I work for myself, self-employed, and I help other people do the same. Yeah, in, instead of doing a van tour, maybe, uh, maybe let me just share something with you and just the thought that I had. Um, when I started doing van life, it wasn't about having the big fancy vans and, and all the decked out, you know, like cupboards and the, everything done. It was really about having freedom. And I remember in the very beginning, I didn't even have a van. I was still working my corporate job and I was watching Chrome's videos. And Chrome was the reason that I pulled the trigger on doing this because I was I was reserved, I was really kind of concerned about it. And then he made me realize that, and this is what I'm sharing with you now, he made me realize that you just do it. Like don't wait, just do it. And if you can't do it all right away, do a small win. What? How am I gonna win my day today? Do one little thing, and the next day do something else and the next day and it just compounds and it moves that's exactly what i did with this van and it's still not perfect i'm going to rebuild it again but you know what like i'm so happy that i did this this is the best decision i ever did in my life was to be able to to do the van life um so i hope that inspires you and uh and, oh yeah and if you're interested in gridless life Check it out. Uh, it, I'm on Instagram, like I said, at Gridless Life. You can also check it out on Facebook. We just started a new Facebook group. 
Uh, it's just facebook.com groups slash gridless life. Come to, we, I'd love to have you on there. Just to share, you know, talking about intentional living, talking about van life, talking about adventure, talking about work life, all, kind, all, the, all kinds of cool stuff. Anything that will inspire you to take action. But don't wait. Just start. Dude, well said, man. <laughs> well said. <laughs> That's it. I'm surrendering my vlog to him here. It's all yours now. <laughs> 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 I have a new post. <laughs> <sighs> Alright, I wonder if anybody else is going to let me poke my nose in their van. Anybody got a car I can poke my camera into? Got a truck. Do you sleep in your truck? Only, right only when I'm drunk, I get it. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> and also, we, we talk as well. Sorry, quite a photo, so. Hey. Is it you that made the pizza? I did make the How'd pizza. How'd you make the pizza? I made it with my oven. What? Yeah. Show I me. a dash oven. It's my baby. You can only get this in the States. <laughs> and it's magical. Damn. Yeah. How bad does it kill your battery? Uh, we don't use it a lot because it's pretty bad. This is a piece of that 1400 watt pizza. I wouldn't care if this drained my battery in a minute. I'd do it anyway. Okay, ready? One, two, three. All right. <laughs> He's going on his tongue, man. <laughs> oh my God. Cruz, you have a caterpillar on your foot, buddy. Right there, buddy. Oh, it's a caterpillar. Crazy. You know you're a, like a low-budget, grimy van lifer. Ah, when you got the ladies here bringing you ice to put in your cooler. It's pretty cool. But the funny thing is, is that ice has been sitting back there on the ground. <laughs> Thanks, ladies. Yeah, anytime. Yeah, give me a. Give me, hit me again. Thank you. Problem. Anytime. This is some ghetto <laughs> stuff. There's all the little rocks in there. That's okay. It'll keep my beer cold. Thank there you. you. Go. See you guys. Thanks yeah. for coming down. No problem. Okay. Thank you. The best license plate. The life. Look at that shot too. Thank you for everything. Take care, man. Thank you for giving me two massive stacks of chips. <laughs> My There's inner fat kid's like, I love you, I love you. See you guys. Yeah, man. Take care. Whew. Oh man, you guys, what a wonderful time at this meetup. I am super thankful that I came here. So thank you to those two, three technically that invited me here. Uh, Gridless Life and Coastal Travelers, you are freaking awesome and just beautiful people so guys go over and give them a follow we deserve so that's a wrap for me everybody is actually leaving the three people left are driving now it's just me sitting in this parking lot but i am actually going to be making home tonight at walmart as a couple of the people that were here from out of town are going to be staying at the walmart up the street so i figured hey you know what why not let's just keep this all ghetto fabulous i'm gonna go hang out with them tonight thanks for watching today's video hopefully you guys enjoyed seeing some of these vans and enjoying some of this like van life on the opposite side of canada it's been a blast and super fun and i got a little bit of color out in the sunshine today you can tell because my sunglasses line is on point. All right, you guys, thanks for watching and uh, big hugs for everybody because everybody was such huggers here today. And uh, hit subscribe, guys, and become a part of the family. See you later, weirdos. Bye-bye!